<laughs> I didn't lose it actually. I forgot. Okay, Job's second test. <clears throat> On another day, the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them to present himself before him. And the Lord said to Satan, where have you come from? I I just sometimes think, like reading this, I just feel like, because Satan's an accuser, like he, tempt, he tempts us, right? And then he goes straight to the Lord and said, look, look what this, look what he did. Look what he did. Well, no matter who you are. Even even believers, he's like, and look, this person sinned. But we have Redeemer, and that's in our Lord Jesus. And so, try as the devil may, cannot take us out of the hand of the Lord. Through our, uh, uh, he cannot take us from our salvation. And I, when I read this, I see the Lord saying, you know, where do you come from? He knows the answer. He knows everything. He knows even how everything's going to end. For him. For the devil. <clears throat> but, again, with the time thing. With time. With, um, and that reminds me I'm going to go over something else sometime, possibly in this Bible study. I'm not quite sure. About the heavens. I talked about those. And there was something that was brought up to me um, through um, comments. And so... I want to, I'll go over that at a later time because I do understand that where they were getting at. But <clears throat> as we can see, though, um, Lord's just sitting there and he's like, where do you come from? Here we go. He may not be like that, <laughs> but because he's holy, you know, and it's just he's saying, where, where do you, where do you, come, you know, where do you come from? He could be saying it that way or he could be saying it strongly, you know. You could be saying, where do you come from? You know, how, how does, how do you, how do you see it? How do you interpret it? What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind? How does it make you feel? What does it make you think? Let's continue to read. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. And he still maintains his integrity, though you enticed me against him to ruin him without any reason. Skin for skin, Saint replied, a man will give all he has for his own life. But stretch out your hand and strike his flesh and bones and he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, very well, then the, he is in your hands, but you must spare his life. Okay. <clears throat> Point number two. So humanistic, we give the devil more props, more more power, more more than he even than he has. everything he does or wants to do, he has to go through the Lord. <laughs> Period. <clears throat> Period. <laughs> and so he's telling them because he doesn't know. He does, the devil doesn't know, but he, he's okay with seeing a person in misery. We're going to see that the Lord, what the Lord's going to do with this and, and how he, how he upholds righteousness, how he upholds his, as holiness in this. So here's the devil going after, because that's what he likes to do. And he's telling the Lord, test him again, test him again, test him again. Those, uh, th those of us, uh, those who have a walk or want going to start a walk with the Lord, it's not easy. If someone told you that walking with the Lord, believing in the Lord Jesus is going to be just make your life completely easy. There's a possibility that things can smooth out. What you do know, though, is the truth. And the truth, that truth, gives you that completeness. That gives you that hope. That gives you that love. <clears throat> so we may be seeking economy or, or items here on earth or things that we think that may fill us or may give us what we want or in need. But once we accept the Lord... Then we know 
And that's wisdom. That's understanding. And so the devil doesn't like that. So the devil wants to test, 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 test. Wants to tempt, tempt, tempt. Wants us to make the wrong decision over and over again. And so who we can lean on, lean in, is the Lord. Think about that. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind? How does it make you feel? And what does it make you think? 